everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and for today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we are gonna be talking about spring stuff. So it has been a really weird year for me to be quite honest because we don't have a new Studio Mickey release coming out for summer, which is so weird as she's waiting until fall, which hey, I am ready for that build up. She is warming us up and I'm so ready for that. But I just like, I've been in this weird like stage because I've been decorating for spring and now that it's spring, I don't really know what to talk about and it's still not summer and like, I don't know, it's been weird. Have you guys been feeling that? Because I have. So I was just like, I don't know what type of content to release for you guys. Like I've just been really enjoying just like, enjoying my space and I haven't really gone shopping at all just because I just don't want to spend money and hopefully that's the same for you guys as well it's just like I'm just trying to take in this space just let it be how it is and just actually enjoy the way that I decorated it for spring without having to change a lot of things so I decided that for today's video I was going to share with you guys basically how I put together my home the elements that I use to make my space feel either springy folly you know for Christmas or whatever obviously those aren't correct words but you know just setting the vibe for every season so I wanted to kind of share that process with you guys and hopefully this video is helpful to you but anyways by no means am I an interior decorator or designer or whatever this is just basically what I do for my home so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and hop right into it so decorating your home for spring can honestly really be an enjoyable experience if you let it be so as the season starts progressing you kind of see how how the nature starts blossoming and you really want to bring that indoors and bring that freshness in and make your space also feel like it's spring and that it's also blossoming so hopefully these tips are gonna help you guys create that type of feeling and vibe in your home so whether it's adding some vibrant flowers, whether they're real or faux, or changing out your heavy textiles for some light airy ones like linen and those different types of fabrics, or even introducing some colorful new decor items, it could just really bring in some new freshness into your home and really make it feel like it's spring. So the first tip is to add natural elements. So it could be so many different things. There's pretty much a lot of them that I use in my space specifically for spring. So you can bring in potted plants indoors you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and go into their indoor section which is usually typically inside the store and you can find some indoor plants that you can bring into your home or if you're more like me and you don't really like the upkeep of real plants and you can just buy flowers my go-to place is Trader Joe's I love Trader Joe's flowers they are beautiful it's my newest addiction also I like every week go and buy myself some new flowers just to keep that spring feeling in my home. Obviously for some of you guys, either whether it be financial or just practical reasons and you just don't wanna keep spending money on fresh flowers every week, then you can opt for faux and you can get the same effect. My favorite place to get some actual real, real natural looking faux stems is a floral. They have some beautiful ones. I have yet to invest in them and I think I will at some point. You can opt for either or. My suggestion would be to buy, buy them from a floral if you really want to invest in some beautiful faux florals. But the next option is obviously to buy some real ones and Trader Joe's is my go-to. I don't really have any other like floral shops here. I know um, San Diego does, but we are about an hour away from San Diego. So it's just kind of like, we're in the middle of nowhere and that's the only place where I can get them. And honestly, they have a really great selection. So I love them. Right now, I currently have French lilacs sitting here on my coffee table and they are so beautiful. They did not last as long as I expected. They're kind of droopy already, but they're still very pretty. I love them. So anyways, that is one option is to bring in fresh florals into your home or faux. All right, so another tip, and I think this one is pretty common, is to obviously spring clean. Get rid of things that you don't use. Get rid of things that you've been meaning to get rid of donate it trash it do whatever it is that you need to do is clean up your space make it feel more fresh so that you can welcome in new pieces for the season for summer for fall for Christmas clean out your spaces because I think that's the reason why it's called spring cleaning because you want to welcome in the new seasons and the new the new vibes so getting rid of everything is so so important whether it be you know old clothes old decor stuff in your kitchen or whatnot and also just freshening up your spaces by actually cleaning them wiping down the hard to reach areas moving the stove moving the fridge oh my god it's so exhausting you'd probably have to do this in like maybe like 
in two weeks like actually give yourself small little tasks to do every day not everything at once because it would probably drive you nuts but just getting those hard to reach places would be so great for spring cleaning specifically before we get to summer and the kids are out of school and you're too busy to take care of everything i think right now is the best time to do it spring cleaning is so important and speaking of today's video is sponsored by blue land which i'm so excited to be working with them because they have made my spring cleaning so much easier so since the beginning of the year i made a resolution to myself that i wanted to make a more sustainable lifestyle and i really wanted to be more conscious about the products that i'm using and what ingredients they have and when i started going out searching i realized how difficult like it was to really find something that i could trust until i found blue land so blue land believes that you can actually have it all in your everyday products. They are effective, they're convenient, they're affordable, and they're sourced from clean ingredients. And Blue Land is also EPA Safer Choice certified, which means that the EPA scientists have evaluated every ingredient in the product to make sure that it meets the Safer Choices criteria. I think one of my favorite things about Blue Land is that you can stop paying for wasteful plastic bottles and every time that you run out of product, you have to toss that one. Usually they're very pulpy and you can't crush them or anything. So instead of paying five to six dollars on a new bottle, you can be more sustainable, reuse the Blue Land bottle, and all you have to do is pay like $2.25 for a refill. So it's super easy to use the bottles. All you have to do is fill your forever bottle with some warmed hot water. And then what you do is you drop one of the tablets into the water bottle and then you can use it within minutes. You don't have to shake it or stir it or anything. And you can actually personalize your kit as well. So I got the Clean Essential and the Hand Soap Duo. And basically it just has the three bottles. One is for bathroom, one is for pretty much everyday multi-use. And then the other one is a glass cleaner. And then I also got the Hand Duo guy. It's a little foam soap dispenser and it smells amazing oh my gosh i love it and i also love the minimal clean look that it has so anyways if you guys are interested in trying out blue land and you want to be more sustainable then you can go ahead and click the link down below and get 15 percent off using my link and you definitely don't want to miss on this 15 percent off because seriously they never do this they are doing it just for you guys so definitely make sure you click the link down below if you want to get 15 percent off your first kit thank you blue land so much for sponsoring today's video thank you so much for helping me spring clean my home i'm so grateful for you guys and anyways let's hop right back into our tips because seriously i really hope that these tips are helping you guys and they are helpful for you when it comes to spring stuff and just bringing spring into your home so other than fresh florals you can also bring in botanical prints so you guys know that in my home i really love doing the boring beige it's just something that really speaks to me. It keeps my mind at ease. It makes everything feel very soft and welcoming, at least for me, for some of you guys to be like, oh my God, it's so sterile. Um, but botanical prints are really great for spring. You don't always have to do it in the florals. So for example, this one right here, although it's a boring beige, um, it's still giving that botanical print on it. It's not necessarily flowers. I'm not entirely sure what the design is, but it, it is giving like a flower vibe to it, even though it's beige and boring. So the next tip is to incorporate soft lighting and that could be so many different things it can be floor lamps table lamps candles faux candles string lights you can do so much with lighting i personally do not like turning on the actual built-in recessed lighting in my home i feel like it just ruins the vibe i'd rather have a candle on or a lamp or anything but the ceiling lights specifically in my kitchen so all of the recessed lighting in there i need to switch out the bulbs and i keep saying that i have to do it i've been saying it for like the last two years but it is like a stark white color and it's so disturbing it fe i feel like i'm in a morgue when i turn the lights in the kitchen which to be fair it's it's good because then you can see at night but at the same time it's just like it is so bright and it just ruins the mood so i have it like it's a dimmer so i have it very very low and then i turn on the like like under cabinet lighting and the light um, on top of like the HUD range. I have that on instead because it's just a warmer, moodier light and that really just adds to the ambience that I'm trying to go for. I'm not a designer, but if you ask a designer, it really makes or breaks the space. When I mentioned earlier faux candles, if you are someone that's kind of like very anxious about real candles, specifically taper candles, because I feel like those that could tip over and just literally light your entire house on fire, you can opt for faux candles, um, faux taper candles. And basically they're just battery operated they look like they're real they flicker and everything and i like to have those pretty much all over my home if you guys haven't noticed by the way if you've been following me for a little bit 
there's a piano in the background. <laughs> so this used to be our formal dining room and now it's not. It is going to be our library room. I would love to have like the ambience in there as well. So instead of doing real candles on top of the piano, I like to have just a faux candle. And there was one here, but it's not here anymore. Oh, can you guys see that? Can you guys see that candle right there? I think you guys, you guys might be able to. Um, so I have the faux candle sitting back there and that's what I like to have there just for the mood. You know, when you're playing the piano, I've been learning. It's like my first time playing piano ever and I've been playing uh, a La La Land sound. But anyways, uh, I like to have that candle on over there because it just kind of makes it moody and really like romantic. So anyways, lighting is very, very, very important. All right, so the next one that I wanna talk about is to update your window treatments. Those are so important. So when it comes to window treatments, if you have like really heavy drapes, then I would recommend changing it. You can store those, put them away, you know, so when it's colder, you know, the colder months, you can bring those back out so that the heat stays indoors. But like for now, for like the spring and summer seasons, I would recommend changing it for some nice sheer ones, even linen, if you have the budget for it and you wanna spend on some linen curtains, I think that would be such a great option just to make the space feel more airy. I've been looking to see if I can find some um, light and airy drapes for this room specifically. If you guys have been following me, you know that I have like these beige, like thick ones um i want to switch them for some nice sheer ones that way when i open the window it kind of like flows and does like this thing you know in my previous video for the gazebo like backyard uh makeover i did some sheer curtains outside that's kind of like the same vibe that i want to bring indoors and it'll make everything flow really really nicely together with indoors and outdoors so this one you guys know that i always bring up and it's to add scented candles or diffusers so for the springtime then you want to do spring inspired scents whether it be lavender lemongrass you can Eucalyptus. Those are all very fresh springy scents. I think that'd be so great. If you want to go a little bit more on the natural side, then you go for essential oils and like a little diffuser. Or if you just like to buy candles, then you can go to Target um, or any of these stores, even probably Kirkland's has some amazing scents as well. And I'm sure they have some spring ones. Um, and just buy a spring scented candle. Now I will be completely honest with you guys. I had a fall candle that I was burning upstairs in our bathroom just because I wanted to burn it like completely so I could toss it. Um, and it just ruined the vibe. Like as much as I love fall, I feel like it just made the room feel so heavy and extremely cozy to where I was just like, it's hot outside. And like, I want to go outside and have fun and feel the fresh air and like all this stuff. And I'm in this room and I feel like it's heavy and like fall. You know what I mean? So I really think that like scents really make or break a space as well. You want it to feel fresh and Home Goods is another really good place to find scents as well. They have so many different brands, so many different scents, so many different designs and styles. Like you can really find something that matches your style, your vibe. And I was looking through their candles actually and I saw that they had some pet odor ones. So I was like, hey, I got two dogs. I might as well get one like that, that way, you know, cause when you live in your own home, you don't really know the smells of your home, but when someone else new comes in, they're like, okay, like you can smell everything because they don't live in the house all the time. And maybe you guys can relate to that when you go to someone else's home, you, it smells different. So it's like, I'm always so worried that like my house smells like butthole <laughs> when someone else comes in, you know what I mean? So I'm always burning the candles. I'm like, dude, like, I don't know if my dogs are farting in the house and this house smells like fart and I got strangers coming in here and they're like, my God, our house stinks. Or when I used to thrift a lot, like I was so scared that my like home smelled like thrifted pieces, which I'm sure it did. I haven't thrifted very, very recently. So I'm sure like that sense kind of diffused, but like I'm very self-conscious about the smells of my home. So um, anyways, I don't know if you guys feel the same as me. Maybe I'm crazy, but I'm always, boosting up the scents all over the place in this house. Um, but yeah, candles and diffusers are very, very great. So the next one is to decorate with books. Now here is a little bit of a, you know, a conflict for me because you can easily decorate with books that are seasonal. So for example, like you could do some gardening books, but they're not aesthetically pleasing. For me, I like to stick to my neutral books, um, whether it be the Kinfolk Home, Magnolia ones. I think what other one do I have? I bought a new one. It says a home away from home. That one I found at Home Goods, And then I have a couple that are thrifted. I just like to stick to my neutral books because that's just my vibe over here, but you can easily change them for a seasonal one. So I do know that Joanna Gaines just released her third volume of her cookbook. So that one is a really pretty like 
like green color. I think that would be a perfect option if you want to switch it for some seasonal books. Who else released a book? I think Amber Interiors released a new one. It's like a really pretty maroon color. That one's a little, I think I feel like it's more of like a, a fall vibe, but you could easily incorporate it if you like reds. So the Joanna Gaines one would obviously fit perfectly for a spring vibe just to add that green touch into your home. So anyways, that's another tip for you guys as well. So the next tip is to update your bedding. So of course for winter, we got the big, heavy, ugly blankets. Honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. When it came to winter, I did not care what my bed looked like. There was a million blankets on it, different colors. It was just a nightmare, okay? But for spring though, that's I think one of my favorite things about spring and like the summertime is when it starts warming up, you can actually have the cute bedding and just more spring-like, more airy. So that's where you incorporate a lot of textures as well. So you can use linen, um, maybe some very thin quilt type fabric. And you can also layer a lot of like these light weight blankets and just give it that nice little airy feel without the big bulkiness of it yeah that's pretty much it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it definitely let me know if any of these tips helped you guys or if there's any tips that you guys have that you like to do for your home whether it comes to cleaning or updating your decor or spring cleaning do you like to get rid of a lot of things do you hoard like i do and then get rid of it all or are you very minimalistic i would love to know so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one Bye guys.